Hello everybody, how are you doing today? I've run into a problem, I've scheduled a Pearson View exam, I've run out of time to prepare for it, what do I do? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what you do. You can reschedule the exam, usually for free, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. But first, before I get into that, my name is Chris Ray, I'm with InfoSec for Humans, where I help you level up your InfoSec game. All right, let's get into the demo. Let me show you exactly how you do this. All right, so uh, if we go to pearsonview.com, this is what we get. It redirects you to home.pearsonview.com. Uh, and on the top, you're gonna see four test takers. We're gonna click that. And even though we're not scheduling an exam, this is our best option. We're gonna go here to schedule an exam. Uh, you click this, and then right here where it says ready, set, test, you need to type in the uh, certification body that is providing the exam. So in my case, it's Fortinet. For you, it could be Cisco, ITIL, Microsoft, ISC squared, whatever it is, whatever your certification body is, you type that in here. So I'm gonna start typing. You see suggestions, you click the suggestion. It then redirects you to the, uh, the homepage for all Fortinet exams offered through Pearson View. Uh, and then here, we're gonna go ahead and sign in. All right, so once we're signed in, you're taken to your dashboard. And in here, you can see exams you've taken previously, but the one that we want to reschedule, the reason for making this video is right here, this NAC7. You go in here, and on the right side, if you're able to reschedule, not all exams will give you this ability. I know with Fortinet, they do give you the ability to reschedule uh, as long as it's beyond 24 hours out from the testing time. You're gonna click this reschedule right here. You're going to go in, you're going to be presented with a new page. Now, I've noticed because I'm taking my exams at home, uh, doing the on view option, the remote proctored exams, I don't have to go to a testing center. I've noticed because of that, the times, the dates that are available for testing, they're wide open. Uh, whereas before, you might have one or two days a week and maybe only a morning or an afternoon. That's no longer a problem. As you can see here, we're on the 9th. I'm scheduled for the 11th. Uh, and it presents you with all sorts of options here. Now I'm gonna go, uh, so I should be testing on the 11th. I know that's not gonna work. I know I'm, uh, I'm gonna be busy later in the week. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump it out to the 16th, which is uh, one week from today. And then you select the date. You can verify that you're in the right time zone, which I am. Uh, and then you're given, it looks like from midnight through, uh, let's see, yeah, midnight through 11.45 p.m. in 15 minute increments for the entire day. Now that's a beauty of testing at home is you get to pick specifically when you're gonna do it. Now I know just from prior experience that 9 a.m. works best for me, but your time, what works best for you is gonna vary. I will say probably do it in the morning. Um, you know, follow your normal routine for work. Don't, don't, uh, don't stay up late the night before. Don't get up super early to study. Don't drink a ton of coffee. Don't drink a ton of anything. Just be yourself, be normal. Do your normal things. Maybe check out your study guide just for five or 10 minutes before the exam, uh, just, just to make sure that there's nothing that's going to be presented to you that's gonna be fresh. Um, and also it, it helps you, it helps reassure you when you're sitting down to take the exam. Hey, I know this stuff. I've seen it all, I've prepared well. Now all I have to do is sit here for the next hour or two hours and answer these simple questions. All right, so getting back to the topic here. Uh, we need to review and confirm. Uh, so original appointment was Friday, September 11th, 2020 at 9 a.m. Now we're going to do a new appointment next Wednesday, September 16th at 9 a.m. Looks good to me. Uh, of course, they remind you here, your name must match your ID, which it will. I'm gonna proceed to checkout. And then uh, they make you re-accept the policies that you accepted the first time when you registered. I'm not gonna reread that. I've already read it a few times. All right, so then uh, almost there. We're going to confirm the reschedule. So I'm doing the NSC 7 next Wednesday at 9 a.m. Yep, this all looks good. It's in the correct English language. All right, there you go. Your appointment is rescheduled. As you can see, uh, with this specific exam certification body, Fortinet, they don't charge you anything extra. There's no additional charges from Pearson View. Uh, you can just log in here and bump it out indefinitely. Now, I don't recommend that. I chose Wednesday because I believe I'll be able to get enough study in and everything will be fresh. I don't want to bump it out for a month or two months or six months out. Uh, I want to keep it, you know, keep that deadline short, keep the pressure on you to learn.
All right, now if we return to the dashboard, let's see what we can see here now. Uh, let's see, you have successfully rescheduled your exam. So another confirmation. If we click here, what does it tell us? Details, appointment, next Wednesday, September 16th. So there you go, you can go ahead and confirm it. Perfect. If you found this video helpful, let me know. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you next time.